everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i hope that you're doing great this evening and i'm here with a brief update on what is going on with that caribbean disturbance we're going to be looking at the latest from the national hurricane center we'll also be talking about that front which is uh, bringing rainfall activity to parts of texas and even louisiana but there could be a lot more heavy rainfall as we head through this week so we'll be talking about that as well and we'll also be looking at some model data in regards to the caribbean disturbance so let's get straight into it and as we take a look at these satellite imagery here we can see that the uh, there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity being produced across sections of the southwest caribbean even resulting in some periods of heavy downpours across portions of the caribbean coast of nicaragua costa rica and even for panama and uh, as we head further to the east, going toward the ABC as well, see that there is some moisture within the area, maybe with an occasional shower. So you can let me know what's been happening for your area. And in the vicinity of the Windward Islands, there is a trough. So that is helping to enhance the rainfall across some areas. So uh, there has been some rainfall for a couple of days now across many of the Windward Islands at times. But as we head further north, we see that things are a lot drier for the Leeward Islands going toward the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, most of his as well through the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. For sections of Jamaica, especially over in uh, the southwestern parishes, there has been some thunderstorm activity. Similar story across some portions of eastern Cuba, much not going on for the Cayman Islands and even for sections of Central America, but a couple of thunderstorms are popping up this evening. So uh, going into the vicinity of the Gulf of Mexico, though, here we can definitely see all of this activity associated with the front. So the front is stationary, which means it has stalled for now. And uh, there's also a trough which extends into the Bay of Campeche in the Southern Gulf, and that is helping to induce all of that activity we see. So a combination of these is going to result in a lot of heavy rainfall across the Gulf Coast that has already begun for Texas and even parts of Louisiana as well, especially Southwest Louisiana. And that is going to be uh, spreading east to other areas such as Mississippi, headed to Alabama, and even for Florida and uh, Georgia as well. So those areas could experience some periods of very heavy downpour as we head through this week uh, with all of that increase in rainfall activity. While that is going to be happening in the Caribbean, again, we could see development. So looking at the latest here from the National Hurricane Center, we can see that 50% chance of development. So the general consensus is that there will be an airflow pressure forming in the Southwest Caribbean and moving up to the Northeast under the influence of the same front right now across portions of the US. So it is likely that there will be a lot of heavy rainfall across portions of uh, Jamaica, going toward Cuba, even for sections of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and Hispaniola, especially over in Haiti. So we definitely have to keep an eye on this and let's go ahead and take a look at what the ensembles have to show. And uh, looking at the model run for Euro, actually the 12Z run, it is now showing what every other model is expecting that area, trying to develop, maybe becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm as it makes its way toward the Northeast. But taking a look at the ensemble members here, we can see that uh, most of these are expecting a general Northeastward track and the bulk are taking the system over Jamaica. So there is a pretty good chance that if we do have tropical cyclone development, Jamaica could be a landfall area as well as eastern Cuba, but regardless, it is likely that there's going to be a lot of heavy rainfall across these areas as we head to the, uh, the latter part of this week, maybe around Thursday and through the weekend. And as we head to the GFS ensembles, here we can see that they're also showing development. Some of these members want to show a stronger system, a stronger uh, tropical storm, and we're seeing that most of them are keeping the system just offshore of Jamaica, the center of it. So these members are tracking where the center goes, not the side of the entire thing and the more disorganized it is the more widespread all that rainfall activity and all that moisture is going to be while a more compact system doesn't have that much uh, of an influence on surrounding areas in terms of a lot of heavy rainfall and flooding and here in Jamaica almost two weeks ago there was that earthquake which loosened up the soil uh, and land overall for some areas especially in eastern parishes so across those hilly areas it is going to be a very dangerous situation as we head into the latter part of this week with this expected system. 
So guys, again, we are already seeing all of this activity developing in the Southwest Caribbean, and it is pretty likely that we're going to see maybe a tropical depression become of the system, even a tropical storm. And the next name on the list is Vince. But development will all be dependent on how conducive the environment is to allow for that to happen. But as usual, I'm here to keep you posted, and I'll be going into a lot more details with the latest expected tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for that. And that is pretty much it for right now. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be weatherwise